Welcome back to the Lanzarote Vlogs guys. This is part two because I ran out of memory on my card. So I had to actually film, upload, edit everything so that I can delete all the footage from the start of this holiday and start a whole new vlog now so that we've got memory but my camera is actually flashing with no memory again. So that's brilliant. Welcome back. It is night five. We've only got a couple nights left and then we are off back home, which is very sad, but this is part two of the vlog. We have been here for five days. Go and check out the first part of the vlog if you haven't watched it yet because everything will make more sense. Obviously, you need to watch the first half before the second half. But we are off out tonight. We are going to go to... Where are we going? A different area. I'm not really sure where we're going. It's about 10 minutes on the bus. We are all inclusive, but we're just really enjoying like seeing where we are and going out and about and finding places for dinner and stuff. So that's what we're about to do. I'll take you guys along with me, but I will show you my outfit first. Here's the outfit, guys. I've got on this little set from... Lola Ray. I'm kind of hot, but it's looking cute, and I think when I'm out and about, I'll be absolutely fine. Chosen comfort for the shoes. I was actually going to wear these Chloe sandals from Inspired Edition, but my feet are so swollen and hot, they really hurt. So we've gone for these from Simi. Bangle is Boohoo, Fake Fendi, another Fake Fendi, Inspired Edition. Shell necklace is from Rhodes, literally like maybe two or three years ago. Shell earrings are from PLT and this hairstyle I've literally done pretty much every single day since we've been here because it's so easy. You just flick the ends in and then pop this headband on and it looks like you're really put together and actually it takes 0.5 seconds. Where's my bag? My bag's over there. I'm just going to take my Fendi from Sarah Mark because it's my most secure bag and I can fit the most in it. So that is that. I'm ready to go. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Let's go and find somewhere to eat because I'm starving. So guys, like I said, this is the other side of the, I didn't know why I just said like I said, I haven't said, there's two sides of the hotel. I haven't really shown much of the hotel to be honest, but this is the other side of it. We're staying in the royal side and that's the active side. Don't really know why there's two sides. And I'm not sure if we paid more, but if we didn't, we got lucky because we're in the nice side, aren't we? I think we might have paid more, but it was very confusing when I was booking it. Like there was loads of different options and different all-inclusive packages and stuff but we're on the royal side and it's stun and then you go on the active side and it's still nice but it's like it's not as like modern i feel like this bit's just been done up and that bit hasn't it's a very different vibe but we're just waiting for the bus it's very hot sweating and the bus stop is literally right outside the hotel like literally on the reception desk Tom's drank us to this we've restaurant where the only thing they've got we've in the menu is pizza. We've had a row. No, we haven't had a row. We've had a row. We had a big bite. Tell them about the row. Turn that around and tell them about the row. We didn't have a row. Tom, I said to Tom, Emily you can choose where we go to eat. And he of, chose. I don't know. I, I don't mind. You pick and then I pick and they're just fuming with us. He chose the restaurant with pizza and I've had pizza every day. I said, you choose where we go. I'll let him more, choose it's, a gr it's a grill place. Oh my god, by the way, that looks so heavy. That better be what I've got. Anyway, I've got sirloin steak. Oh, so they don't just have peas. Tear down. The peppercorn sauce. Chippos. Chippy, chippy, chippy bones. I've got mixed grill. Yeah, Tom got mixed meat grill. He said, excuse me, what's a mixed meat grill on it? With beef, oh, chicken, lamb, right. pork, and beef. <laughs> the only you wouldn't have known. I don't know if it would be like sheesh or stuff like that. Anyway, this is where we are. This was literally like a four minute drive from the from the hotel. It's a completely different vibe to Portadale Carmen though, isn't it? We're gonna go to the shops. This is where we're coming to the market tomorrow as well, but Tom said we're not. Tom said we're not coming back here. Because we've had a row. The bars are just over there. It's just like literally being in England, it's like Irish bars and weather spoons. Tom's idea of heaven. It's not a word of space. No, it's like it though. It's just like it. We dipped into that bit first. one red rock to share. This is what it's called. It's called Pablo's, I think, isn't it? Not sure. No. Good morning, guys. Sorry, I didn't vlog anything else last night because we had dinner. It wasn't very nice, I'm not going to lie. Tom didn't actually eat his which never happens, even if something's not nice. Yeah. Tom will always eat it, like he's very good in terms of things like that. Like he'll tell me to grow up and eat it, do you know what I mean? Um, but he didn't actually eat that it. So it yeah, it wasn't, it, even the man knew, so he took it off the bill for us. Like we didn't even kick up the fuss. Didn't even ask. He literally just said like, is everything okay? And he Tom came just over said. and was like, taking our plates. And he was just like, is it not all right? And Tom said, not really, no. And then he said, oh, sorry. And then when the bill came, he'd taken it off. So it was very kind of him, but 
but it wasn't your food up it wasn't somewhere. ideal um like we're never one to complain so i mean we didn't even complain he just said he didn't like it anyway we just took a little stroll around i didn't vlog anything because we're going back there tonight so i thought well i'll just get the camera out tonight when we go back to the market but it's now friday morning we've only got friday and saturday left and then we go home sunday I'm having another pool day today and then market this evening just got on this little set from primark kids section actually how nice is that it's like a waffly ribbed little set very cute and then bikini wise i've got on this one from mars the label it's got these like rings on it but i mean it's quite a big bikini like in terms of tanning but i want to get rid of these stupid lines so gotta do what you gotta do but yeah we're gonna head down for breakfast now oh also i actually picked up these last night Basically, we had a great, uh, what's it called? Garlic crusher, and it broke. And it always used to just get, like, manky in the dishwasher. So I bought Tom one of these, because obviously Tom's the chef in the house. I got him one of these. It's like a garlic grater. You just, like, scrape it all over. I got my mum one as well, because I thought it was super cute. But, yeah, that's all we did. And now we're going to go down to the breakfast, and then the pool, and then market later. Guys, you wouldn't believe it, but I actually haven't had churros for a couple of days now. I'm really enjoying this chorizo sausage. I don't know why I got beans because I actually really don't want them at all, but never mind. Tom keeps making these little bacon and cheese egg rolls. He's so talented. Hello, guys. It's incredibly hot. It is now about two o'clock. I don't know how the time goes so fast when we're just lying here doing it. Nothing to you. Like, how is it two o'clock already? I'm burning up today. I think my tan is going to be top notch i'm covered in two beat hands making the most of it but we just decided what to do for lunch and now you've suggested mcdonald's i really want mcdonald's i don't you suggested it i was trying to get in your head get in my head this is what i have to fuck with girls and Honestly. boys and girls and guys there's definitely boys out there who's, their girlfriends are watching it on the tv and the boys are sat there on their phones Sneakily listening, that's exactly what Tom does with all my YouTube videos that I watch. <laughs> I won't tell you his favourite because it'll be him So <laughs> This book is actually really good. I kind of prefer it to my other one. It took me a while to get into it, but now I'm like into it, into it. I actually am really enjoying it. I've nearly finished, so probably have to go and pick up another book for tomorrow because we've got one more day. But yeah, that's the update. I'm just here being me. Tom's just behind me chilling. Sun's out, bum's out. So there's a little sports bar on site, but you actually have to pay for the food, but it's fine because we just wanted to give it a try, but I'm not sure what this bun is made out of. It's very interesting. We got the same. Barbecue burger with cheese, bacon. Like it's really pink. I'm guessing like beetroot or something. Do you want my onion ring, my love? Hell yeah. Fries, barbecue sauce, and then it's just literally on site of the, the hotel in between the two sides. I'm excited to try that also now. There's um, onion rings inside it. No, I don't know if I so that you can have them, right? <laughs> yeah. Have you actually not got um, sauce inside that? No, it's good. Why did you get those sauce when you like them? Yeah, but I didn't want them to like smug right inside. Sorry, I'm not sharing with you because it's not enough. I've got my own. Here it goes. You're not like. <laughs> I do. I'm craving for a try. Second to last night, guys. We've literally spent the entire day sunbathing. I've actually got such a cracking tan. Like, I don't think I've ever been so tanned in my life, but I've just got myself ready for the evening. We have gone for, I'm gonna have to do my best to hide Tom because he's butt naked in the background. I've gone for this play suit from White Fox. It's giving Mamma Mia vibes again. I'm very like Santorini Mykonos vibes this trip. I'm loving it. Necklace is Primark. Earrings and PLT, I've been wearing these all week. It took me ages to decide which shoes to wear because I don't know what I'm going to be most comfortable in. I've gone for these from PLT, but I don't know if they are the most comfortable. And then I'm just going to take the crochet H&M bag because I love it. But yeah, look at my tan. I'm feeling so bronzed, especially my legs. White is really 
bringing it out. But yeah, I'm ready to go, but Tom is still naked on the bed, which is great, because the market ends at eight, and this is the one thing I wanted to do all trips. If I miss it, I'm gonna be fuming. We are having a nightmare. We've walked everywhere around the place that the market's supposedly gonna be. No market to be seen anywhere so we're walking the other way again giving it one last try and if we can't find it i give up because my feet are rubbing already I so you understand. know do you know what you're putting on maps yeah not the market you're no, just putting the i'm putting hotel. the location no 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 because i done this and it no. came up with the hotel no i'm not putting any hotel i'm putting the plaza which is where apparently the market is held the, pla the plaza is the hotel though no it's not a plaza it's a plaza no but the hotel is called the Pueblo no no no, no um, when no. I click do you want me to click on that and show you no a plaza no like I know a what a plaza place. is but in this occasion it's a hotel it's not it's what the hotel's called he's lying there is a market around here somewhere and I just need to find it because I want to get all the fake stuff Anyway. No, it's fine. We, we can go. If we can't find it, I'm getting a bubblegum ice cream. Because <sighs> I haven't had one in a week. I saw a girl with one yesterday and it looked delicious, but I wasn't in the right frame of mind yesterday to sit and eat a bubblegum ice cream. And by the looks of things, <sighs> not going to be tonight either. <laughs> anyway, this area of Lanza is really giving like... I mean, I've never been to Santorini or anywhere like that, but it's giving... Santorini with the white buildings and the blue and the, you know, Greek vibes. Guys, I'm so out of breath. I'm shattered about this. This is so much effort. Yikes. Ah. Oh. It looks like you. This is long as hell though, isn't it? Yeah, I'm tired. Guys, I'll catch you up if we find it. Turns out the market was a shambles, so we've come to some breads. I've got a fresh banana, I've got plain Nutella, and this looks so delicious. Hello, guys. Probably the same amount of time. Is it good? Is it? It's cracking up. Quite thick. Six out of time. All we've been doing all evening is just smoking a million fags. <laughs> Ew, uh, joking guys, we don't smoke around here, we don't, we don't smoke, we don't even vape. We just sit here, watching the sunset. It's, it's so cold and I need to wee so bad. Trying to check in for our flight in two days, actually that's what we're doing. <laughs> we're not doing anything else, we're just sat here trying to check in. Good morning guys, it's our second to last day now. Oh no, this is kind of our last day, isn't it? Camera. It's basically our last day. We go home tomorrow at like 10 a.m. So it's our last day. We've been down here since very early. It's half 10 currently, but we've been down here for ages. And I realised the book I was reading yesterday actually has a series made out of it. So I started watching that. It was fantastic. Oh. Tom's sunbathing, chilling out, getting his back tanned because it's so pasty. But it cut me off so because I've got no memory. But what I was saying was, what was I saying? Oh, the book I was reading has a series made out of it. So I've been watching that. I'm going to save the rest for the aeroplane. But yeah, we're just here again today. Not doing anything. We're literally going to stay in the sun all day today. Get as much tan as possible. Ready to go home tomorrow. So we're going to get a Mackey's for dinner as well. Because I actually haven't had a McDonald's since I've been here. I had a bite of Tom's, but it does not count. Guys, I haven't vlogged much today. Look at the state of me. I've actually been back up the room for a while now. It's about six-ish, I think. Tom, I'm pretty sure, is watching the football downstairs. He hasn't actually come up yet. Um, so I've just started packing because we're going home tomorrow. Realistically, the packing's got to get done. I'm going to do mine now so that I can just enjoy the final evening. I've had a shower, washed my hair. I've actually just filmed a little bit of work that I needed to do. And this is currently what I look like. Guys, my tan is genuinely tanning so much. Like, I'm not going to lie, I don't think I've ever been so tanned in my life. This is brilliant. You can definitely tell I've been on my holobobs. But yeah, I'm going to get my packing done now. Just so it's done and then I think we're gonna head to McDonald's in a bit. Current state of the room though, this bit always makes me sad. Like why are we packing already? So much, I need to get everything in my suitcase. There's just stuff absolutely everywhere. And just like that, I'm pretty much packed and ready to go. Tom's still watching the football. I think it's actually England playing. I think that's why he's watching it. Um, but can you tell it's the last night? Look at the hair. 
I've got this little headband in and a plaid. It's giving all sorts of confusion. Stripy top, Zara shorts and sliders. We're going to get a McDonald's and I just, I can't be bothered to do anything else. So this is, this is the look. I can't believe I haven't actually had a McDonald's this whole trip apart from a bite of Tom's Burger. I mean, as I shouldn't, we're on holiday. Why would I be eating McDonald's when there's so many delicious things I could be eating here? But do you know what I mean? Sometimes when you're on holiday, you just fancy a Mackie. So yeah, that is what we're doing. And just like that, that spot cream, by the way, I'm tucked up in bed on our last night. Tom's actually downstairs. It's half past 10. He went down for some drinks. I don't drink, so I know it sounds boring, but I've decided to just go to bed. Um, I don't know when he'll be back, but I'm going to watch a little bit of the flat chair now and go to sleep because it's our last night and I just, I just can't believe it's our last night. It's come around so fast. But I'll see you guys in the morning because it's making me emotional. I could actually cry. I really don't want to go home. As excited as I am to see the babies, the rabbits. I just don't want to go home. We're all packed up. It's time to go home. Well, we're just about to go and have breakfast for one last time. It's 10 past nine. We've got to be down at reception at 10 past 10. But we packed up. We're ready to go. We need to pack your case, actually. Yeah. Anything have our brekkie. Well. And then it's time to go. I'm actually really sad. I could cry. This is like you. I... You're choking up. Tom's choking up. <laughs> 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 you can't get his words out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't what I'm pissed off about. <laughs> that down there. What? Someone Some, was probably in our spot. Some twats. We probably sat in the same seat. spot over there every single day, in between this rock, so that like we didn't have anyone like too close to us, and we were just sort of, well, we had people all around us, but like in our own little. Rock, Eric, guys, I had a lizard on my hand yesterday and Tom did not even believe me. I was lying on my front like this with my phone in that hand and then like, I opened my eyes and I thought it was a fly because there's so many it would flies have been here. A fly. There was a lizard on my hand. It had a blue tail and it was a lizard. In Tenerife, there was hundreds of lizards. Turn the, um, stuff. the camera around. So but here, I haven't seen one yet. So then I can relax for the rest of the day. I mean, that's a bit this of a is what we're waking up to. Yeah, well. Pools down there. Beach over there. This time last week I was doing this, just telling you guys. What we got here. Wait, we never looked over there. <gasps> wow, it's on. I would 100% recommend one, the hotel, and two, Panzerotti. I would definitely come back, especially I think when I have kids. It's quite like a nice, like, family sort of, like everyone had, well actually to be fair, this, couple, this hotel was pretty full of couples, wasn't it? The other one opposite was good, so. Yeah. Um, Oh look at the mountains, I'm so sad, really sad, but it's fine because we're grateful to have even been on this holiday, aren't we? We are, we're grateful that we've had this yeah, trip. Yeah, we're pissed off we're going home. Yeah, I know, and we're entitled to be pissed off that we're going no, home, really. but we're very grateful that I've been to Tenerife and America already this year, and I've now been to Lanzarote, and we're going to Canaries again in September. Yeah. Like, we have to be grateful and thankful, and I could have been going to IB for in two weeks, but I've decided not to go, so... I'm very grateful for this life and I'm gra very grateful that I don't have to go back to work. Well, I mean, obviously I, I work, but like, I was just moaning, saying like, oh, I've got to do this, I've got to do that. And I'm like, be grateful some people actually have to get up and go to work. So, I'm very grateful for, for this. Are you? Yeah. Lanzarote, over <laughs> and out. <laughs> we were never here to stay. We were so wild and free But we were just kids in 